We do have some very sad news to share with you tonight. West Michigan has lost a longtime journalist. Lee Vanamede passed away Friday. He was just 66 years old. Lee spent nearly 40 years at WZZM 13. For many of those years, he was the station's lead anchor. Winning Emmy and Edward R. Murrow Awards for his reporting, he then left the station in 2016. His obituary says that he struggled with diabetes and kidney disease for the last few years of his life. While these conditions were crippling physically, emotionally, and financially, he never lost hope. He worked every day to get better and looked forward to possibly working in broadcasting again. There will be an open memorial visitation September 26th. We've added a link to our website where you can send donations to his family for funeral expenses. We do send our best wishes to his family and his former colleagues at TV 13. And that includes our own Bill Steffen, who worked with Lee for 24 years. Now, Bill, you've worked right Quarter alongside him. Right. Tell us more about what he was like as a journalist. Well, I remember when he first came back in the late 70s, that was an amazing time for journalism. And, of course, we uh, did the news differently back then. We were still doing some stories with film back then. Uh, so it was really quite an effort to try and get a story on uh, for the 6 o'clock news. There you can see some of the anchors on the set. Uh, Lee was uh, uh, really just uh, someone that devoured news. I mean, he was always the first one to grab the newspaper, read through it. He read books, he read pamphlets. And, of course, the Internet just opened up the whole world to, to Lee. Right. Uh, this was quite a shock, by the way. This is, uh, while, while he had some medical issues, uh, we did not anticipate that... Uh, that right. this was uh, imminent here. Still this so a, young, a, and many people didn't even know he was sick. That's true, and uh, that, that's a picture on the screen right now of the Jerry Lewis telethon. You remember those on Labor Day? Right. That is 1980, and look real close, and uh, you can see Lee in the back, back row there. He had just uh, been with the station for about a year and a half, and he was just a reporter back then. For some reason, I had the microphone in that powder blue tuxedo <laughs> there, which uh, they, they let us wear tuxedos of different colors, but uh, that was one of the many uh, events that we worked together. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember going with him to all the parades around the area, and uh, he was a, a great family man, too. Uh, right. You know, for Kendall and Alex and uh, his wife, Jan, especially, our thoughts and prayers really go out to and family. carried quite the journalism mm -hmm. briefcase. I mean, my goodness, to read all of the awards that he mm -hmm. that he received over the years, including an Edward R. Morrow Award for sure, investigative that's a, and that's work. That's a big deal. People don't really realize, you know, that that's. I mean, that. Oh you know, yes. We, we get Emmys every now and then. Those are the same people that hand out the Emmy awards. In, but a Morrow in for investigative. That's right. He really took broadcast journalism mm -hmm. very seriously, and we do wish his family so well. Yes. Thank you, Bill. Lee Vanamede was 66 years old.